you know the title is going to make people turn their heads and I'm already expecting people to already have their opinions made before they watch this video it's happened before you know some people get their opinions from others that talk about the video and basically determine their opinion as the fact of what this video is and some I mean, they, have, they already have their opinions already made up before they even touch it because of how they feel about me. Um, I just want to say that how I feel about the left in terms, at least online or maybe just in the Western, you know, uh, part of the world, I don't see, I don't see us going anywhere. I don't see success. I really don't see anything happening from folks like this. Not everybody, but just many people here. I personally believe that a lot of people here are grifters, grewers, people looking to capitalize off social injustice to further their career or their aspirations. Um, not everyone here is like that. I believe that there are some people that we probably don't know of that are trying to do the work right now and we just don't know of them because there's no way to really find them or or it's very hard to just discover them. But um, I personally don't see anything coming from the left. Uh, I don't think that leftist ideas are bad. I don't think that they're stupid or anything like that. I actually think that a lot of leftist ideas are actually really good and they bring a lot of new ones. They give you a lot of ideas. They help you to tell you how you can fight against the system, but it's the people here that I have a problem with personally. Like there's a person that's been calling me a liberal and saying that I only look to empower myself through online content, saying I don't do any of the real life work or anything like that. And then this same person would talk about how I'm discounting real life experiences. See. I feel like when people are discussing black oppression and the black struggle, it's all abstract to them. It's all just buzzwords, talking points, and abstract things to them. It's not something that is rooted in material like conditions and, and actual experiences. Because if one could easily just dismiss a black person saying that they're a liberal and they only look to empower themselves through online content, not realizing that they know nothing about the black person in question or even why they're even here. I, I don't take anything you say seriously. I feel like all of it's lip service. Personally, I don't see a problem with people making online content and making money from online content. There's a lot of reasons why. Many of us cannot make ends meet. A lot of us are actually struggling to find employment during the pandemic. So when you support somebody's you know, livelihood, you're supporting their literal livelihood. You're giving them money to survive and everything like that and to continue creating content to continue to elevate others' consciousness and to add and add a kind of narrative to the discussion. Many people don't think like that. I feel for others, it's a career thing. It's to basically get ahead in the game. And when people think of it like a game, that's when I kind of feel a certain way because this is a fight against our you know, oppressors. This is a fight against the system. This isn't no game. I'm not here to find a career doing this shit. I'm here to liberate myself from this system. That's what I'm here for. There are reasons people make content on this platform. You know, one reason is that people have a personal passion for the subjects they want to discuss or they are already are discussing on their platform. Another reason is that probably nobody else is discussing the subject in question and they want to be able to bring awareness to that subject that they are personally invested in or maybe affecting them. Some people are just trying to, you know, join in the conversation. Now, personally, I feel like others are making content about certain videos and topics, but personally, like they have nothing to offer. What I mean is they're just going to make that content and this is basically their whole shtick, just making content. And I'm making content, I mean, it's just making content, um, building your platform up, and that's it. That's it. That's all it's going to be. There's going to be a big platform content creator, and that's it. That's all it is. 
Now, I'm trying to explain this the best way possible and to phrase myself the best way I can. It's not just as simply as making content, but it's more of that people are utilizing the discussions on social and political issues to basically build their platform with no intentions of dismantling the system in question. Because at the end of the day, what is going to happen is that they're going to have a good position in any organization to benefit themselves and not the collective. When I mean the collective, I mean the group that they said that they're fighting for. And to me, that's the waste of everybody's goddamn time and resources. Because what we need to be doing is fighting the system and empowering the people that are marginalized by the system, that are being oppressed by the system. I do not see that being done by many leftist groups or organizations. I'm just being real about it as I am one of the marginalized people in question. As you can obviously tell, I'm a black person. As people can see, I'm the person that made the threads on Vosh that blew up on Twitter. Yet, I don't have access to spaces. You know, everybody's talking about how they fight for black people, how they support black people, how they're all here for black people, allies of black people. Yet, I'm here alienated. Just alienated. I don't get support or nothing. I mean, I do get help from some people and I appreciate them so much. But many other people that claim to fight for us, where am I at? You know, I'm not unreachable. And this is not just about me, it's just about a lot of other folks. And this is where the trust comes from. Like, now you start to be skeptical and lose trust in a lot of people within these spaces. And that's why some people in these spaces might work alone and don't really want to associate themselves with many other people here because of these experiences. It's actually alienating to the people they claim to fight for. And that to me is crazy to think about because people need to know what it's like to do work for these people or to interact with these certain groups or these spaces. Sometimes it's not positive. It's a very antagonistic experience to where you don't want to associate with many people here because this is what you've experienced. And this doesn't get discussed a lot. And personally, many may not understand what I mean by it, but if to, for you to get it, you have to join these spaces. You have to be a part of these spaces to understand what one is talking about. Because the, this is not a good relationship. Some people might have leftist ideas, a leftist ideology, and practice leftist politics, or not be in any leftist you know, community online, and this could be a reason why, because this is what it's like. Personally, I feel like a lot of people here are opportunistic, looking to capitalize off these issues to further their own goals and not to actually help the people that are being harmed by things that they're talking about. And to me, it's like, yeah, you don't really trust any, anyone, even when they're speaking about it, because it's just people being opportunistic. And I know, I want to make it clear, this is not everybody, this is not necessarily every leftist organization, group, or community, or anything like that. This is not necessarily a representation of, like, leftism or leftist people. It's just, like, some people that might be in these environments might have the same sentiments I may have. And it's just, it's sad that this is the case because you realize that a lot of people here are just opportunists. That's what all this is, it's just opportunism, looking to get ahead, utilizing these issues. As a black person, when you live in a black community and you see nothing being done to improve the conditions of your own people, I want people to really think about how that feels. Everyone can be yelling, I care about black people, I care about black people. Okay, be a black person, live in a black community, Come from that experience and try to understand how somebody feels right now. A lot of us are really struggling out here. And the thing we don't even get from people that claim to fight for us is access or help or assistance. No opportunities, nothing. All we get is lip service. And we get people being condescending and paternalistic to us. And to be honest to me, and to be honest... That makes me feel, you know what, I see. This isn't about us. This is about you. I get it now. It's about you. When 
you are trying to pursue this as a career, that just tells me something. You're not supposed to take the job of fighting white supremacy, capitalism, patriarchy, cis, heteronormative culture as a career. It's supposed to be a, a goal to dismantle this so that we can finally pursue our own aspirations and to actually gain sovereignty and independence and liberation. So when somebody is here pursuing this as a career, that tells me that only thing they intend to do is to basically be an activist, to fight against the system. Because if this, I just want to say that if we're making a black organization, right? Black people better benefit from that. Black people better be seeing the benefits of that. Like, I'm not playing. If black people are not benefiting from the creation of a black organization, there is no point for that black organization. This is what I mean about careers, opportunists, and grifters. If you make something that is intended for the people that you are serving, and those people do not see anything from that, it is a waste of our time and our energy and our resources. This is why I feel like we're not going anywhere. Like, what is being done to further our interests? Not just necessarily black people, but the left. If you're here to dismantle these systems, what is being done right now to dismantle these systems? Someone might tell me that there are people trying right now. Like, no, I already know there are people trying. Those people, we don't got a problem with those people. Everyone that fights and tries to give it their hardest, no problem with them. I'm talking about folks that have created something or done something or whatever. And the people they claim to serve aren't getting anything from it. There's no point. It's all pointless. It's all useless. It's just there. Imagine how it feels that you may be a leftist, whether you're black, Asian, like anything. People of color. And you don't have any access to any of these organizations that are supposedly serving you. I need people to think about how crazy that fucking is. It's just, it's just there. Fuck it. So personally, I don't believe that the left is going to succeed. Not because leftist ideas are bad. They're actually great, like I said. It's because the people... The leftists in question, I put that with quotation because some of these people may not really be leftists. Some of them may be, but some of them may not be. Some of them are just not doing anything. They're not intending to make decisions to empower the groups, the marginalized, the people that are colonized, the people that are being oppressed. They're not doing anything to empower those that are being subjugated under this system of oppression. So, in my opinion, I don't believe that anything is going to really happen. At least at the moment. That can change, honestly. One more thing to it. There are some people that will tell you that you don't got to read theory. I'm not about to tell you that you need to read theory. What I'm telling you is make your subconscious, educate yourself, right? Because once you give yourself the knowledge of how to fight or to make yourself more aware of what's going on, you are better equipped to deal with these issues. But some people say, I don't need to read this and need to read that. And it's like, so how would you be able to know what the fuck's going on? How would you have the knowledge to understand how everything is working or how everything works or what happened before? How would you learn from the mistakes of people in the past? How, like, what, what, it's just, at this point, I don't believe sometimes that people are really here because they want to fight this shit. At this point, I just think that there's something else to this. Because if you're not going to give it your A game, then, like, stop talking to me.